at YouTube. Timothy Robinson coming to you from Molten Wave Zone. Got some things here I want to talk to you about. This here, the cast bullet. Got the groove for the groove or grease. I've got it in there. I've, this is Super Molly Lyman. But I have decided since I have come on to powder coating, powder coated bullets, I will not use the, the traditional way of doing cast bullets. I've never really liked the grease. It's always on your hands. It's hard to store. And it gets in your seating dies severely at times. So the powder coating is the only way for me to go. I really enjoy it. I want to give a shout out to uh, Alex Elmo. Recognize that bullet? This is an RCBS 162 grain semi wad cutter with a gas check. Uh, you have a different mold. I forgot what you called it now. I'm sorry about that. But I, I really enjoy that. I actually use a lot more lead than uh, a 10 alloy. It's got 10 and antimony in it, but I'll use more lead. It's uh, a little softer than hardball. And uh, I really enjoy this bullet. Oh, it casts, uh, what is it, 170 grains to 162 grains. I call this color here coral. coral. I uh, mix a lot of powder coats did together, a lot of powders. Come up with different colors. I, I load this bullet in 357 only. 357 Magnum. Got my little zombie Lee 158 grain flat nose. I load in my 38s. And recently, Started loading them in my 9mm subsonic. It shoots really well in my high point carbine. It's got a real fast twist rate and it, it really shoots well in that carbine. There's my. 223. I don't know if you can see the color or not, but it's kind of a big purple or pastel purple, Easter purple. Those are, I also have them in zombie green like my 38 bullets. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to. Uh, Fortune Cookie 45, when he gave his uh, review on uh, the loading manual, he was talking about all these different Arthurs not uh, getting into powder coat. And you know, this is my opinion. I believe since they didn't come out with it, they didn't think it up, some Joe the plumber come up with it that and he wasn't an author to write about it and publish it and get it out there that it's not mainstream it's not the the thing uh you know you just about gotta have, be an Elmer Keith and, and a lot of kids nowadays don't even know who Elmer Keith is but it's gone
going to be the downfall of some good things is not having the right people talk about it. Uh, the way I normally load my powder coat is I load it the same way that I load a regular cast bullet with lube. I just make sure I start with the start and work my way up and I find a load that it works well with. Uh, my thoughts <laughs> but uh, I think that I think that's why you don't see it in very many manuals is because the people that write these manuals didn't think of it they uh, you know oh you know we're traditional we got to stick with tradition but if it wasn't for Elmer Keith and stretching the limit we wouldn't have some of the stuff we have today. And I really think we need some better Arthurs out there to help us along with this. Uh, that's all I've got to say in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.